At holiday time, food insecurity is in the spotlight, showing how so many are hard hit. As part of CBS New York's Season of Giving Better Together campaign, we're partnering with New York Common Pantry to help the most vulnerable. CBS 2's Chris Raggy is live at their East Harlem location, where volunteers hard at work getting donations, boxed up and organized. Chris, good morning. Look at all this. Cindy, look at all this. These two containers, we showed you something similar about a half hour ago. Those containers have already been moved out. These are new containers filled up by a bunch of volunteers who are doing a lot of hard work inside. We're going to show you them in a second. What you can't see on the other side, outside here at the New York Common Pantry, are hundreds of people that are lined up in the rain waiting to come in to get food for their table. You talk about food insecurity being a problem here in the tri-state area. It is, and we're here to prove that to you, and that's why your help and our Better Together season of giving campaign. It's so important that if you can help donating your time, food, money, anything, we'll flash a QR code during our broadcast here on CBS2. We ask, we implore you that you help. All of this food, okay, been packaged up in the last couple of minutes. Just so you know, almost 40% of the food that's going out okay, of the New York Common Pantry is fresh food, fresh fruits and vegetables, good quality, healthy food. It's about nutrition as well, not just food on table, but good quality, healthy food. All of this stuff is being trucked out to some regional partners in the area. We're going to talk to the deputy executive director in just a second. You just wait right there, Judy. I want to show everybody at home the operation and what's going on here. This is all being packaged up. You see a number of our volunteers, some people from over at CBS who have made the effort to come down here this morning. They're packaging up the dry foods, put them in the containers, get them packaged up and get those out. But this is what it's all about. I cannot implore you enough to get behind this effort of fresh fruits. And it's one of the things we're going to show you what are some of the most hot, I guess the, need -ems, the, the items that are highest on the list that are needed. We'll show that to you in a couple of moments if you're at home wondering, well, what can I donate? We're going to tell you. But look at all this fresh fruit, vegetables, onions, Onions, plantains, and volunteers. Are you right, Jesse Mitchell? Are you having fun so far? I mean, this is great. Oh, this Being is able great. To like this, right? What a workout to start the morning. Helping people <laughs> yeah. makes you feel good inside and outside. I'm and, getting a good sweat. And it's <laughs> awesome to have everybody from CBS here, Jeremy. Oh, you know, maybe I'm sorry. I don't mean I don't mean to I don't mean to interrupt, but we just wanted to talk to this oh, volunteer sure. real quick. Somebody at home may reg. <laughs> what are you, How you doing? How this doing? This is real now, work. Right? This is unbelievable. The thing about it, it's not just now. It's not just Christmas and Thanksgiving. It's all year yeah. and the volunteers they do it all year yeah. and it's just amazing and so Truly. many people already lined up around the block that need right. this each and every day and Maurice could not drive the point home anymore it's not just about the holidays it's about every day but it has much more of an impact obviously during the holidays because we want people to have a good meal at their plates at their homes and Judy Seacon right here is the deputy executive director here uh, first of all thank you for having us here and letting us invade and help out we're having a blast um, but it's also just so nice to know what we're doing. What are some of the items, though, that if you had to tell people that are watching right now that you really need donated, what would those items be? We always need the grains, so we need pasta, rice, cereal, oats. Those are all essentials. Proteins like dry beans and canned beans are also things that we need donated. Um, those are really the constants that go into every package, yeah. so we're constantly in need, yes. This is a nonstop operation. I was just mentioning a second ago, this isn't just about at the holidays. This is about everyday food and security is an issue, a very big issue, and judged by the people that you've got lined up out there every single day, it's something that's not going away in the short term. Exactly. So we see lines, we see um, 300 households a day, year round. Yeah. And it's gotten worse. Um, pandemic certainly brought out the issues of food insecurity, but since then, inflation, the immigrant crisis have all kept our numbers even higher. Yeah. So it is it is not something, it's a constant problem. In you ever have one of those days where you say to yourself, well, maybe today there's only going to be 100 people as opposed to 200 or 300, but then sadly you do see three and sometimes exactly. four. I mean, the only day where it may be is if there's a blizzard, but even yeah. in a snowstorm, there are people out there waiting for food. And, so. and just the the volume, we talk about 300 meals a day, at least people, excuse me, people a day. <laughs> I know, not meals, people a day. Um, but where this organization came from back in 1980 when it was feeding 30 families, now we're talking about almost 10 million meals later here in 2022. Exactly. Exactly. So the volume, what we need to make this happen, the volunteer crew we have here, every day we have volunteers. We couldn't do all this packing. This this will be empty by the end of today. That's how quickly everything moves in and out of here. And that's how, yes, that's the volume that we've had to do. We've had to open, we acquire a warehouse and open a new warehouse in order to 
get the food that we need and have it here in sufficient quantities to give out. What's it like for you personally to have this job, to be responsible for getting all this food out there, getting those people on the street that are waiting for the meals right now to get it in their hands? It's a big responsibility. It's a big responsibility. It's a rewarding job. You see, I mean, you can see you are out there. You see immediately when you're giving people food, yes. you get thanked every day for what you do. People bless you when you walk down the line. Um, and it is also motivating. I mean, you, you know people out there, you know what it feels like to be hungry. When I'm hungry, I think about the people in line who are hungry. And I really, you know, you know. We thank you for everything that you're doing. We thank you for having us here today. And thanks, Jay. We really do appreciate it. And, you know, it's funny. When, when you're doing live television, normally one of the rules is we need it quiet. We don't want a lot of noise because you want to be able to hear what's going. You know what? The more noise, the better on a shoot like this. That's what we say. So when you see these carts that are going by and it's making that loud noise, you know everybody's hard at work. You know that food is getting into the hands of the people that need it most. Our volunteers are all doing a great job back there. Volunteers, keep up the good work. Thank you, guys. And everybody here at the pantry, thank you for having us here today. We greatly appreciate it. Cindy, let's get back to you in the studio. But as you can see, so much great work being done here today and every single day at the New York Common Pantry. Chris, you gave us such an amazing tour through, you know, everywhere. And it, it made me think that, you know, especially during the holidays, a lot of families kind of want to have a volunteer opportunity as well. And I think this is a great place also to bring, you know, yeah. some of the older children to, you know, to find out what reality is. And, and you know, a lot without of people. Without a doubt, without a yeah. doubt. Judy, Judy was telling me a story. She had a volunteer, who, uh, someone who's here volunteering who came in this morning and heard us mention them on the air this morning and was so proud to be a part of this organization. So it's about that outreach. People we know are watching. We know they're listening. And as we said, we've got that QR code that we pop up on the screen periodically at CBS to get involved, help out. And then on December 17th, we're going to be at three different locations. On that day, doing food drives. We're here to help. This is all about our, our Better Together Season of Giving campaign, and we're going to continue this on through. Chris, thank you very much.